Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Very excited to have you here today because we're going to be looking at a very beautiful lick in the key of G. All right, and once you learn this lick, well, actually there's a couple of licks and embellishments, then I think you'll be using them for a long time. So excited to share this with you. Uh, it's all going to be done in a, a chord progression, so I'm going to share that with you first, get our fingers around the chords, and then we're going to add in the embellishments and the lick. Okay, so uh, the chords we've got today, we've got a G, humble G chord. All right, and this is one of my favorite chord changes, right? A G into a D with an F sharp bass. So all I'm doing there is I've got a D chord and I put my thumb over the, uh, the second fret on the low E. Okay, and that mutes the A string. So I'm just getting the, uh, the F sharp note and the rest of the D chord, all right, from the D string. So G, D with an F sharp bass, and then I'm gonna put my pinky on the high E string on the third fret and get into an E minor. This would make an E minor seven. Okay, so G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor seven, a C, a D, just a normal D, and then back to G. Alright, so G, D, F sharp bass, E minor 7, a C and then a D and then a G. So that's the chord progression we're working under. And we really want to pick this, okay? So <clears throat> again, you can do your own thing with this. Uh, you can use your fingers or you can use a pick, whatever you feel comfortable with. And we've got this kind of thing going on. So a really simple picking pattern, just going down, down, up, 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 like that, okay? Down, to up, 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 down, to up, 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 and then down, to up, 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 C. Alright, and again you can mess around with it and do your own thing with these, uh, with these embellishments. The important thing is you get that bass note. you know all right <clears throat> so we're gonna get into the first lick and it's gonna sound like this right that's how we're gonna kick the whole thing off uh, so we've got a few double stops happening here and I'm using my fingers again you can use your pick if you like and I've got seven seven on the G and B like that okay then five five on the G and B, and I'm just using my thumb, my thumb, my thumb, and my uh, index finger to get these strings together. So five five seven seven. Oh, sorry, seven seven five five. And then I'm gonna take my middle finger down to four, my index finger down to three, and then the same shape for two and one. All right. pick up my pick and do this all right cool little lick here right so I'm gonna slide with my middle finger into uh, from two to three and back again and pull it off all right and basically I'm using the G major scale to do all of this all right I'm not gonna get too deep into the theory if you want to know all of that stuff and be able to make up this kind of stuff on your own then that's what I do with my private students. So you can apply for my program below and I'll get in touch. If that's something you want to do, I'll put a little button here or something that you can click. All right, so uh, so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we're using the G major scale uh, to create uh, these little licks and tricks. Okay, and again, that is how we're going to kick off the chord progression. So let's just see how that sounds together. Now, when I'm going into the D chord, okay, next, that's when I'm going to embellish that with this little, this little thing here, right? You'll see happening a lot when people play the D chord, okay? You basically get these little uh, tricks you can do 
And all I'm doing is I am taking my middle finger off and then back on and pulling off. And then the G and then the B. Okay? Okay, again, getting that bass note down to the A string and then have it on pull off. G, B. So when I get into the E minor 7, I get the bass note, then the A string, and then I slide with my third finger, it's already on the B string in 3, I slide from 3 to 5, get my index finger on 3, middle finger from 42, and then open. The most difficult part of this is going to be just skipping strings, you know, down to, and then down to the B string. The best way to do that is just to practice nice and slow. It's all about muscle memory, alright? And then into my C chord. Now, this brings me to the end of the progression. Okay, I'm going to play it twice through, and I'm going to have two different endings, okay? So, the uh, first one... that right okay so now I get in my C chord I'm gonna strum it down and then uh, I hammer on to uh, the D string and I can also get that as a double stop get the G string like that and then open in the G and then I'm gonna slide to a D chord here I'm just moving this up two frets and I'm gonna do it again, like that. And I'll bring me back in my chord progression, right? And then the second time, um, instead of doing that, I'm going to do this. Alright, I'm going to take my middle finger and just slide on the G string from 2 up to 5, 4, 2, 0. And then around and around we go. We can just continue that, embellish it a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at everything together um, with some fancy camera angles to make it more cinematic and dramatic. <laughs> and, and yeah, so check this out, have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.